Hello and welcome to a windy start to part number three of the Halloween tour of the Legoland Miniland. Legoland Windsor. There we go, that's a tongue twist to start with. So we are part number three. If you haven't watched the other two parts, I will tell you what we are doing. They have a Halloween season at Legoland Windsor. You can tell that kind of thing with different ways to start each part. I'm filming these literally back to back. And they have added in all sorts of creatures. So there are multiple playlists available. Uh, one for villains, one for Windsor, and then there's a dual one where they alternate back to back. Now we just spent ages in part number two looking for stuff and we are less than 48 seconds into part number three and I can already spot three of them. So if you are doing a running tally in part number one and two, please let me know. Yeah, some are much, much easier to find than others. So we have got a, a nice little loop down here. So hopefully there's actually quite a bit to look for from here because it's a smaller, it's a smaller land. So I'll, give you a, I'll give you a pan around and let, let you soak it in, let you soak in the animatronics and things as well. Um, but like I said, in all the previous parts, if you want to a full, full in-depth tour, there is a Miniland playlist available. Um, where you can see in full depth detail all of the Miniland, whereas this one we are solely looking for either anything that's new that they've added in the last couple of months since I've been here, which I will probably miss, so you've got to try and let me know in the comments below so you can start screaming at your screens and stuff if I just walk past something and don't zoom in on it because I've not spotted it, or anything like was at that train station. So as we are on part number three, and you might have seen some of the other parts in Billing already, how does the zombie fest compare with regards to how easy is it to find things? Have they added in enough? Is it too difficult? Is it good fun? Have they added in too much? What do we think? They have some building work going on here. It's always exciting to me. I always, always interesting to know what they are doing. Anything exciting? Is there anything exciting? No! No, it's not. There's nothing there, it's still what it was last time. There are two blokes doing something though, so. We've taken up all the stones so far. Right, so train is off. Next train station, they added anything? We have three at the other one. There is nothing in this one. What I do like about this one is you know, having tracks. I don't know how long that was there for, guys, so I do apologise. Yeah, it needs a comb, is what it needs. There we go. Like I said, professional outfit. Professional. Right, I am looking as hard as possible. This is much, much harder. And there's a pumpkin patch that we've got to find as well bug me if we walk all the way around and can't find the pumpkin patch um, which means I'm then going to run around and try and find it and then just add it in and pretend that I knew it was there all along because in part number two there was nothing in the NASA space bit so it makes me think potentially because we couldn't see any zombies or anything like that that potentially the pumpkin patch will be there but it was a lot easier in Billund where they had all of the all the graveyards at the front but they haven't added in as much but like I said in one of the first parts Billund is not open for Christmas so I think they went absolutely flat out for their Halloween but they were only open for well their Halloween's really short because I think it was a it was less than 28 days. 
was less than 28 days, so um, I've started, I'd like to say I've started this video in a really bad place because what I should have done is I should have started it here and I could have just been really clever and just done that loop as well, but we're going to have to go all the way round and then I'll just cut round the, I'll cut round the back. Is there anything new that you spot? So that's what sort of game is planning into then. So we are looking at <sighs> Where are we? And that's not the right one. We are looking for zombies, vampires, ghosts, and the pumpkin bear. So that's the stuff that we're looking for in the Miniland Takeover. And then in the other videos, they're all available as well. Um, I haven't done them yet. Oh, there's a sofa being... I think there's a sofa going up the stairs there. I've never spotted that one, so... I'm having a bit of a hard time getting that one in. There's nothing on the roofs. I just looked at all the roofs. And there's nothing hidden at the top. So they're all they're either all just tucked in together on every single land rather than spread out. But we have found something on every land apart from the NASA. But where's the where would you put a pumpkin patch? Where do we think? I don't know. If you were if you were in charge of the miniland, I would put the pumpkin patch somewhere with this side of stuff because it's where all the flowers and everything are. But it said it's a teeny tiny one, so I can't think of what other lands have like a greenhouse in them. Now we're by the we're by the church. There's no anything extra added into there, so that is all all as was and is. No, to the back. Back to the train. Can't see anything. Had a having a bit of a nightmare. Well we found everything so far, but it's been a little bit that um I can't tell where that pumpkin patch is going to be. I'm sure it'll be, I'm sure we'll get it and we'll find it and it'll be okay. I'm still using the new microphone, I'm using this new microphone for the all of the Halloween stuff in Windsor. Um, but I didn't have it on at the one in Billund. This is a little bit bigger and whatever else. So, but now I've figured out how, how I can store it easy enough. It might be used a lot more for the tour stuff and then for the rides and go back to the lands individually. I'll go back to the other one but let me know what you guys think. Right, eyeballs peeled. I find I can see sheep. I can see some cows. Does that count? Sheep and cows. To see any, um, to see any actual Lego scale ghosts, so they've got to be somewhere. Are they going to be with the pumpkin patch? We might have a bit of an issue here because if you look at the one on the left, the one on the right, it hasn't been fantastic weather uh, wind wise, and we're going to get things blown over. So hopefully. Will be over. I'm sure that was the stuff for it. I'm sure it's on the list. They are very, very good. At all the parks that I've been to about maintain about their maintenance and everything like that. So yeah, they are they are very, very, very good. to find something in this one so I'm trying to keep a mental tally of what isn't anywhere 
about uh, a win when we see something. But there has to be something in here because no, they were they were part of it. Anyway. Hey, Yo, Dad, can you take a piece of it moving? Like, we... Nothing, nothing, nothing. You can take a picture of me with it. Go! So back to the sheep and cows. Guys, look! No joy with that, nothing in the trees. Nothing on the grass. Definitely a pumpkin patch in there, and I can't see any monsters or drinkers or anything like that. So there's nothing in. I will end part number three there and then we've got the fourth and final part to come so fingers crossed on part number four we can find some uh, we can find some good stuff in part number four so guys as always thank you very much for watching i hope to catch you in the next one you guys take care